Not a bad day at all. The last full day of winter. We've been seeing sunshine, but it's been mixing with the high clouds here over the last several hours. That's a live look with your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. That one's located in Frankfurt. So you see the Kentucky River there in the foreground, the Capitol in the background, and the high thin clouds that are streaming overhead. So that's the setup for you. Max Track Live Doppler high thin clouds don't make anything fall from the sky, so you are looking good there. Vernal equinox, winter finishes warmer than spring starts, and we'll show you that coming up. For the weekend, looking dry. Yard work weekend, honeydew perhaps weekend. Eight day, don't get used to the warmth just yet. There are some cold days sitting out there. We are also talking about the vernal equinox, so welcome to spring. Astronomical spring, this is it. No more meteorological or any other types, this is it. This is the one that goes on the calendars. Technically equinox means equal night, but the day and night are not equal. In fact, today, 12 hours and eight minutes, that'll be actually tomorrow, 12 hours and eight minutes, has to do with how we compute sunrises and sunsets. It's not based on the midpoint of the sun, but sunrise is when the first little bit of sun crosses the horizon and sunset is when the last little bit, and, and that little bit of extra time means we don't have 12 hours of day and night. Wednesday, 558, that is the exact time of the equinox. That's when the sun will be sitting directly over the equator and bathing the earth in equal amounts of sunlight from top to bottom, if only briefly. Normal high continues to rise through the upper 50s. We will be cresting that mark when we did today, and we'll be doing it again on Friday, actually tomorrow, and then again on Friday. Then by the time we get you into Sunday, we're into the mid 60s. That'll feel nice for a day. Low and mid 50s now here at 515. You are talking about a 53 degree mark at the Bluegrass Airport. There is no wind to speak of. The air is pretty dry. High today has been that 53 after a cold morning. We're down to 24 this morning. So here is your little bubble of warmth. Tomorrow it gets replaced out Thursday and Friday with some cooler weather. A little surge of warmth, not so much on Saturday, but by Sunday and into Monday. Yeah, we will see those warmer temperatures arrive and that will be nice for a couple of days. What's interesting here, and this is looking at infrared, you can see the, uh, the rivers etched out very nicely as we are looking down what was a clear sky earlier. You can see Lake Cumberland right in there, Green River Lake, and then the high clouds have been coming in during the course of the day as and you lose the rivers as the atmosphere warms. That little system out there to the west, that's what's coming our way. A couple cool fronts also sitting up here to our northwest as well, so it's retreating high pressure tonight. By tomorrow, still under that influence, so it's a little bit of sunshine to start the day. We'll watch that cold front approach tomorrow late day. The clouds will increase. Rain should hold off till tomorrow evening. And once that comes on through, it's not going to amount to a whole lot, maybe a quarter inch for some. And by the time we're into late Thursday, we'll begin to push all that off to the east and away. High pressure builds in for a couple of days Thursday and Friday, and that little reinforcing cold shot comes in on Saturday. Partly cloudy, still brisk tonight. Light winds overnight lows down into the low 30s. Spring begins at 558 tomorrow afternoon. Early sunshine, increasing clouds and highs into the upper 50s. Rain will be around, especially through the first half of Thursday. We're in the low 50s. We warm it back up on Friday, a little cooler Saturday. Sunday looks terrific with rain arriving. Looks like Sunday night lasting into Monday. And it just keeps getting better and better and, and better. In each and every way. Yeah. yeah. I love it. All right. Thanks, Phil. <laughs>